Hello everybody and welcome back to some more modded gungeon. We're jumping in again for another little showcase, this time from the mod Knife to a Gunfight. We're going to be checking out Fractal Bullets, chance for bullets to split and split again. Very interesting. Paired with another one of the weapons here, for uh, this is called Focus, bullets redirect to a point after a moment. So let's just take a little deeper look into the Ammonomicon here. An inverted spread shotgun designed to place every pellet at a single point in space. It can be uh, dilated in precision. Uh, dialed in for precision, but if you miss, there's always security that a stray shot could land. And then, of course, we have this, a bullet type crammed with bullets that are 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 crammed with, crammed with nothing. So this should be pretty interesting. So let's just see how the fractal bullets work to start with. You can kind of see how they spread out. But with focus here, we're likely to see something pretty interesting. You see that, how... This is this X max where they, uh, where they all converge. If we take a look without this, it just does that. If we take a look with it, a whole lot more bullets start to converge. And this is a shotgun. I very much enjoy shotguns as it goes in Gungeon. And I imagine, at least early on, this weapon's going to be pretty strong for us. We're going to have a pretty easy time with this bad boy. But I really like this. So this is kind of reminiscent of the mass shotgun from the vanilla game where you really want to be staying exactly the right distance away from your enemies in order to make the absolute most out of this. But one good thing about this run as a whole is because we're using a bullet modifier, this is going to affect every gun we get for the rest of the run. So while focus is the focus of the run... Uh, there's going to be plenty of other um, various guns that we pick up along the way that it will work very, very well with. I can imagine explosive weapons being uh, pretty amazing with this, uh, just because with explosive weapons, if they do fractal as, uh, as they do with the shotgun here, the explosion's damage will be unchanged and it will just create a massive amount of explosions, which is always fun. But yeah, I actually really, really like this setup. This weapon on its own seems really, really good. Um, and just a lot of fun. And in fact, what tier are these? I didn't actually check the tier. So tier, we've got a C tier, which is kind of average. And then here we've got a B tier. So both of these are not particularly high tier, to be honest. Um, we are playing as well as the, uh, the convict here, just because, unfortunately, our first item is a heart purse, which is a little disappointing. As, uh, as people know, the heart purse is are a little more dull, a little less interesting since it's just a HP up, but we'll, um, we'll deal with it, I guess. Oh, dude, I like this. It's also one interesting thing as well, is it's kind of a shotgun that's got a bit more range than your typical shotgun because of this focal point that it's got going on. I like the fact that we're kind of extending the, the regular range out a little bit. Um, I just need to figure out where's best to stand. It, it, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it so far. It seems to be pretty much the same every time. Now, one thing I'm a little unsure of is some weapons, in terms of how they function, function differently on controller and keyboard and mouse. So maybe on keyboard and mouse, you can choose the focal point, but on controller, it just ends up being somewhere in front of you. I'm not entirely sure if that's the case. In fact, I think I can... I think I can just, uh... Okay, no, no, I can't. It is always a set distance from you. That's good to know that the controller version of this isn't too much different. Uh, we'll grab a key here. I would like to try and get another key and perhaps go to the oubliette, but we'll see if we get another key first, I guess. If we don't get another key by the time we finish out this floor, then I will just go and open up the, um... Open up the chest. We've got a charmed enemy here. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I'll, uh, hmm. We have multiple charmed enemies here. I'm unsure ex ex as to exactly why. Ow. That was kind of a tricky, devious trick right there. So our next chest is going to be yet another green chest. I am actually more tempted to open that now knowing it's a green chest. I'd rather not leave that behind. Um, but let's see if we get another key first and we can make our decision based on that. We did get a Kershula shop, which is quite unusual. Unfortunately, it's unlikely going to be able to get many things from here. We've got the key, the Kin Amulet, which is probably worthwhile. In fact, why not just buy that? Why not just buy that? We can take a look at what it does here and see uh, what the Kin Amulet's going to do for us. Blank summon reinforcements to aid you in combat. Pretty decent, but also the main thing about this is we're going to get an extra blank per floor, which is pretty darn useful. Now, these guys, I reckon we're going to have a good time against. Now, one thing I could really in, uh, find quite interesting with this is something like a stout bullet, where, like, getting close does more damage, but keeping them at range, you have more bullets. 
And it's kind of like got a, a yin and yang to it where there's an advantage to both close range and long range. I think that could be pretty cool. But you can clearly see here, unfortunately missed the flawless there. You clearly see here it's doing a great job against bosses. We unfortunately didn't get a different key here, but we did get the charge shot shotgun, which I do not mind at all. We'll crack this open for a weapon and we get the dispenser, which is a Minecraft dispenser, as you can clearly see. Um, and I, I imagine this with fractals going to be kind of interesting. Ooh, yes, it is. It is. Now, I imagine there's some other things we could get with this to really ramp up the craziness. Scatter shot really speaks to me. Um, I think that'd be really good. Flak bullets could be really good too. There's a few items that could really kick this up a notch. I mean, I'll be honest, I feel like scatter bullets or scatter shot, sorry, is one of those items that I just super, super rarely see. Um, I feel like it just doesn't show up in my runs, even though I absolutely adore it. Unless I'm playing vanilla, it seems to show up a decent amount of vanilla, but in modded, there's just so many modded items. By the way, uh, just in case any of you that haven't sort of watched much modded Gungeon or don't know much about it, there is a mod that we have on called Equilibrium, which essentially balances out the pools because with the way that modding is at the moment, there is probably more modded content in the game than vanilla. Um, and for example, there's some mods out there that only add 15 new items, but there's another mod out there that adds like 350. So to make sure that one mod doesn't overarch your entire Higher run you don't just see one mod's items there's a mod called equilibrium which makes um it sort of balances out the chances of each thing uh, appearing so that e every mod creator gets an even opportunity as well as vanilla items not being completely sort of removed from the game um because obviously one of the big things is uh, a lot of the modded items have synergies but their synergies are usually with vanilla items so you want to make sure that vanilla items are still viable to find otherwise synergies become a lot lot lot, lot more rare um we obviously don't really want that. Right, we can buy another key eventually here. Uh, I think it's 32. Ooh, hello, hello. We've got the void chest there. The void chest kind of interesting. we also got the pig whistle. We're looking for 30 for a key, are we? Unfortunately, I've, I've had a pretty a pretty annoying uh, start to my day here. I say start to my day. It's near the end of the day, so now it's near 5 o'clock. Um, but basically, I... Um, I have been playing some Baldur's Gate this morning, and I always turn off my second monitor while I play Baldur's Gate, because I like to sort of immerse myself in it, and darken the room a little bit and stuff. And then I turned my monitor back on, and it just wouldn't turn back on. Um, and I tested the cable, I tested the different ports, I even got another monitor from that we have in the house, my girlfriend's, and made sure it wasn't the port. And it, my monitor just seems to have died. Like, it, it, it turns on, and it says, like, no input displayed, but the monitor itself just doesn't work. So now I'm on a, a, a much older monitor that's unfortunately only 60 hertz. And my god, when you've been using 144 hertz for, like, years, Going back to 60 hertz is actually painful. It's It truly, truly is something that's just, yeah. It's kind of gross. Let's try out the dispenser for a little bit, shall we? Oh, do, you know, do you know what? Charge shot might be good as well. Again, though, with, with, our, with our fractal shots here, we do have to stand at sort of the right distance to make it work. Another green chest. Hello, hello. And we get ourselves the horned metal there. Horned Metal, you burst into Berserker Rage upon the mere sight of fresh prey. What a monster. I think this is just a bit of rage when we enter a room, which is pretty thematic for this character, considering we also get rage on hit. So, a nice item for us to grab. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how Charge Shot works here, because Charge Shot bounces, right? It doesn't seem that Charge Shot is affected by Fractal, which I think makes sense, because I think Char... Oh, no, there you go. Okay, it might just be a chance with... Um, it might just be a chance in general, but it might also just be a chance with weapons such as this. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this this seems like it could be pretty good when it works. Or maybe it just has to bounce a number of times first. I'm not entirely sure. One moment. Ooh, I've got an itch. I apologize. I should just pause the recording, but what's done is done. Right, sorry about that. I tried. I tried, but... I cannot reach. <laughs> the itch is too unitchable. But yeah, it seems... I'm going to say, it seems that with with weapons like this, the Fractal Bullets kind of have like a chance. Also, a bit of a freeze frame going on there, interestingly enough. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that we can find more shotguns here, because shotguns seem like they're going to be probably the most valuable type of weapon to play around with this Fractal Bullets situation with. Just because more shots means more shots means more shots sort of thing. But yeah, this is like a... 
basically, I asked some of the developers for their soft synergies. Obviously, in, in Gungeon, compared to Binding of Isaac, there is hard-coded synergies where you pick up two things and it gives you a little notification and it sometimes gives you a special effect. But, um... These are soft synergies, where they're two things that work really well together, but weren't specifically designed to work well together. Um, I don't think I want to open the brown chest, unfortunately. What what we got going on here? So, book and paper-based items are free at shops. Booklets are charmed upon entering rooms. Piles of books explode when destroyed. Books and paper-based items. Hmm. We've got the frost key here as well. Frost key? Let's let's give the frost key a go, a go, shall we? Keys increase coolness. Okay, not the best considering we don't have any keys. Um, but that could that could play a role down the line, I guess. Thank you. The, the the library card one, the library certificate, whatever it was called, seems interesting but a little too niche. I mean, it is D tier, so it's understandable, but uh, it seems a little too niche to be super useful. Now, this is a great situation when we're fighting bosses, because they're a lot easier to get at that that perfect aim point at, because, obviously, with a boss, its hitbox is much, much larger. Now, hopefully, we can get a flawless going on this gal. I've done it plenty of times before, so there you go. Didn't manage to get the first one, but that one we did. And there's our luck increasing coolness, whatever you want to call it. We've also got whatever this little, uh, little ditty is here. Uh, waveform Lens, a scientific waveform multi-tool designed for deep space exploration. Initial release of the technology were highly flawed, but years of R&D have managed to develop this device into something resembling a useful tool. Ooh, okay. Now, does it have different forms? Ah, it changes on reload. Now, it does seem that beams do not... Okay, no. Beams do have a chance to, uh, to sort of fractal out. It's a little weird. It's a little visually strange, but it does work, and I imagine it'll do damage all the same. Now, I am curious with fractal shots. Do the split shots do, like, less damage, or do they do the same damage as the initial shot? Because if they do the same damage, that's kind of crazy. But I imagine it'll be a sort of thing where it's like, it splits into 50-50, and then splits into 25-25-25 sort of thing. But we'll give this thing a go. This, in this thing seems pretty good. I mean, the laser version of it seems a little iffy, to be honest. Yeah, the laser version's not super strong. I think we're going to stick with the focus for now. The focus is just... It's something else. It's another beast. I mean, this is the, the, the flagship synergy of this run, so I expect it to be good. Can anyone figure out why enemies are charmed? I don't seem to have any item that does that. Unless it's something to do with my... Um, my amulet, something to do with that. Calling in reinforcements and it's certain enemies just count as reinforcements by default. It's all I can imagine it to be, to be honest, which I think would be a bit weird though. Cause that's not not what the item described it would do. I mean, there is obviously quite a lot of things in Gungeon that sort of go outside of the scope of their description. But in modding, normally people are pretty uh, upfront about what things do. So I wouldn't expect that in modding. You never know though. Depends on who created it. Some people like to be intentionally vague. Oh, I love this weapon. I love this weapon. Just the fractal. The the insane spread that you get. It's, it's just crazy. I see you there. This place a beast. I fought one of these in Baldur's Gate today. Well, I say fought. I convinced it to kill itself. Um, <laughs> but still. Hey, there's one of my buddies. Look. Yeah, I had high enough charisma. I, I spoke to this demon that had like a bunch of little dudes around him and a display of a beast, and I basically just convinced him to kill his all of his minions, his pet, and then himself, which I was very, very proud of. That was, uh, <laughs> for some reason, quite a quite a tall order. I, I imagine it's not something that most players get the opportunity to do. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm also slightly salty now about. Um, Slightly salty now about needle bullets. Needle bullets could be interesting. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. Super meat gun, both very, very good. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Keep it grooving. 
Yeah, the fact that it seems to have broken my monitor, <laughs> I think. As I do need to test it out and make sure my monitor like works with all the stuff sort of thing. Because it might, but we'll see. Okay. Extra key, very nice. Crack that open. Ooh, what we got here? Bullets with guns. Now this could be interesting. Your bullets move slower, but they take that extra time to aim and shoot more bullets midair. Oh my god. This could be pretty wild. Okay. Are you ready? Because our bullets, which split into bullets, which split into bullets, are now going to fire bullets. Oh yeah, this is... This is interesting. This is rather interesting. Oh, ho, ho, yes. This is wild. <laughs> I was not expecting this today, but I am very much there for it. Look at that. I fire like once and it just like rips through everything in the room. Also, the sheer amount of green chests right now is uh, pretty splendid. It's pretty nice. We are getting a lot and a lot and a lot of green chests and I, uh, I can very much respect that. Be careful of these bad boys. I'm also interested to try out this rocket launcher. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it doesn't fractal every time, as I, 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 as I we established earlier. But when it does, oh boy, it does. I mean, this thing's doing a great job regardless. Ah, bugger. I got- Ah, oh, it was you! It was you! How did I not see that you were there? Either way. A tried and true little strategy there. And we got ourselves the Nocturne. Ooh, interesting. So this fires green and purple bullets. Also, it's between faster purple blasts and more damaging green blasts. Intriguing. Intriguing, indeed. Unfortunately, we can't afford either of the items in the shop there. Both of them looked pretty interesting to me, but sadly, it is not for us. It is not for us, indeed. But we'll, uh, we'll keep moving here and see if we can, uh, see if we can find more craziness. But I think so far we've, we've, we've got something pretty wild on our hands here. We've got something pretty wild on our hands. This isn't going to be it, though. Um, charge shot could be interesting with the bullets shooting bullets, especially with it being overall slower. Oh, the fractal on that thing's just absolutely devious. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a bit glitchy. It creates this sort of weird visual pattern. But overall, I think it's, it's pretty good. I think still... As, as the focus of this run dictates, the focus has been truly, truly our knight in shining armor here. It shoots bullets. Look at this. Look at this. How could you turn this down? My goodness. <laughs> Just getting pummeled into a corner. I don't even have to fire at enemies anymore. Like, just shooting in the vague direction of enemies is, is more than enough to get the job done at this time. We'll grab that. Why not? It's it's truly something to behold here. We, lo we love it. We love it. I love doing showcases like this. Hey, we got a bullet modifier chest here as well. Now that, that could, that could spell trouble for these wee little enemies around and about. Could spell trouble. Oh god. Ah, I rolled right into that guy. It's okay. We're fine. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> Just shot every now and again. The whole room's gone. 
Right. Can we find some, ourselves some keys, please? What's going on? I just love the fact that in these larger rooms, it just gives more and more time for my bullets to fire bullets. In fact, like, it, it seems at the minute beneficial to miss. Hitting and having the bullets disappear is, is, is saddening. We need ghost shots. We need to be able to shoot through things. That, that's that's going to be the real, the real kicker. Beautiful. Also, I've got to say, this weapon is very... I, mean, I know, obviously, it's beefed up by the items we have, but it's very ammo efficient. It starts with a very good pool of ammo. You'd expect, like, 150 from a gun like this rather than 300. I suppose that we haven't seen it in its base form. It might actually be pretty weak overall, generally. And the situation we have going on with it right now is just making it a lot, lot stronger. We got a black chest as well. Okay, baby. This is spicy. I really hope we can get two keys on this floor. Because it'd be real shame to miss out on one of those. I'm going to go for the black chest over over the um, bullet modifier chest. Because the bullet modifier chest, while good, can give you D-tier items. So, it's not always the best. Cartographer's Eye. I'll give the cartographer's eye a good little look-see. Grants vision of important rooms, grants access to randomly selected special room created by legendary cartographer. Interesting. Okay, so maybe free access to rooms grants us vision of special rooms. And in here, a oh baby. <laughs> oh baby. Well then, this wasn't, wasn't what I had planned, I'll be honest. It wasn't what I had planned. But, at, at this stage, why not, I guess? This is going to be a truly amazing showcase here. Got my little friends doing their thing. Oh my god, the room is just absolutely covered in bullets. Right. Deaded. Amazing. Another flawless for us. RPG, you say? Oh! <laughs> that looks so satisfying. Right, we'll open our chests on this floor if we can. Um, we'll see if we get keys, and if not, we'll uh, chuck ourselves in the fiery pits of hell and start our back up from the beginning. We go again. <laughs> we go again. Hell yes. Hell to the yes. Come on. The last floor always takes a little longer to load um, when you're playing modded. There's various reasons, but they're not worth going through right now. It does seem that we got a slight damage down for having fractal bullets, by the way. At least I think that's what the damage down is from. Kind of makes sense. We've got Curse of Darkness here. That do much. Okay, not the best weapon to use here. Ah, damn it. We good? We are not good yet. Does mean that we are we're sort of limited on our range. I think the room's done, I think. Nope. You bastard. Right, what are we going to go with next? Let's try this thing again. Nah, it's got... It, these bullets are too quick. We need, we need stuff that's got slow-moving bullets. This thing is just perfect. Okay, so darkness certainly isn't helping anything. Honestly, why even bother picking up the armor when we're going to be killing ourselves? We don't even really need to worry about taking damage, to be honest, because uh, we will be using clone at some point shortly. I'm just hoping we can find a key before we get to a chest room here. Sadly, it doesn't look like it. We did get an NPC shop over here, though. 
We got these insurance policies, which we've seen before, but we're not really sure what they do. Oh, that's a bit upsetting. I think it's time. I think we kill ourselves now. It's probably easier to let enemies hit me than anything else, to be honest. It is time to die. I realize I could try for the dragon, but you don't need to really. I realize again we've got another chest, but we don't have keys, so I'm pretty much okay with it. Clone's gonna send us right back to where we started. And we're gonna be able to really, really showcase this pretty heavily. Right, one moment I am gonna have to pause once we load in here. Come on, game. It's only a clone run. All you gotta do is send me back to the start. You know you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. My goodness. There you go. We're back. We're back. Right, one second. Okay, we are good to resume the clone run, baby. We are good to resume the clone run. My goodness. Don't you love it? Don't you just love it? Okay, now we need more keys again. Unfortunately, we don't have any keys to carry down with us here. We are taking some of this armor. 1.7 times damage with fractal bullets. Okay, I'm confused now. <laughs> Oh, wait. The 1.7 times is when we enter a room and we gain that uh, damage bonus for a short time. We got another Kershula. Oh, bugger off with this, please. I'd like to open some chests here, but you're making it quite difficult. What we got here? Um, chance on kill to refund 5% of the gun's ammo back. Ch uh, chance scales with your gun's max ammo. Using um, Shelton Shrine while holding this item grants 50% damage up, reducing max ammo by 10%, and refilling all your guns without giving any curse. I kind of like the idea of that. I'm going to grab it. I'm also not opposed to more curse on a run such as this when we are as powerful as we are. I'm liking this cartographer's thing, though, giving us, like, little intel on where certain things are. It's, it's rather nice. Oh, we got a warm mimic back there. That we did. And then we got some ice cream from it. Ice cream charm. It's an active item. Attacks, uh, uh, sorry, attaches to your current weapon. Only one charm can be equipped to a gun. Adds moderate chance for ice. Interesting. So obviously we're going to be doing it to the weapon we're holding right the heck now. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is something new. I've not seen this before. So basically now we have a small chance for ice shot. By small, I mean extremely large with the amount of bullets we fire. Now you're going to see that we're going to be a decent amount of jammed enemies here. They are going to be a little bit trickier for us, but hopefully not so much so. Again, it looks like we're kind of out of luck with keys here, which is a shame. No oubliette or anything for us once again. Would like to uh, receive some... I was just about to say, would like to receive some ammo at some point soon. And we uh, we got what we asked for pretty much straight away there. So yet another blue chest. This time not fused, which is rather nice. Rooms that are open like this just get absolutely decimated by our shots. And the shop is right here, actually. So we got booster shot, which I'm unsure of what that is. But we do want to buy the key outright. Booster shot is 45, so we can't afford that right now. I will go and open this chest up, see what we get. And we get the lightsaber, which is another curse weapon. So we're up to eight curse now. But we do have a lightsaber. I am very interested to see if this can fractal. It would seem very broken if it could. But this thing, this thing's pretty interesting. You can you can do some cool shit, cool shit with this. There we go. Look. It's it's like a sort of decent close range melee weapon. It's pretty good. Right. Gonna use our void core again. The void core cannon seemed very very good last time. Now unfortunately, this is actually not the ideal stage for us. The good thing about the void core is even with the fractal shots, they hum. Uh, just because of the base gun homing. So we actually do a hell of a lot more damage with the fractal bullets than you'd expect. And also explosions do destroy shots as well, so... 
There you go. That, yeah, this is definitely our boss killing weapon right now. Definitely our boss killing weapon. We get ourselves more curse. <laughs> okay, what what exactly is is this active? Let's have a little look see here. Allows for the destruction of shrines. A large hammer originally used by protesters uh, off world to destroy monuments of the corruption in power. Um, interesting. So, if we find a shrine, we can destroy it. Now, I'm curious to see if I can destroy the shrine at the beginning of the floor. I can. Wait, no. There you go. I can. I gained some curse off of the back of that. And I gained ancient heroes. But wait, excuse me. Why is there two of them? I don't know why there's two of them. But we did just gain the Ancient Hero's Bandana, which has given us a significant increase to our ammo. Wow. I mean, I, I expected it was going to give me curse. Maybe that specific shrine gives you a lot more curse. <laughs> Maybe that specific shrine has a, a specific interaction with this and creates something, uh, something fairly unholy. <laughs> Because that seems to be what we uh, we have presented to us right now. And I am a little worried. I think our damage is going to outpace them. And I do believe as long as we don't touch anything, no ammo, no health, um, nothing, or switch weapon, we don't spawn in the, um, the Lord of the Jammed initially. It only spawns in once you do something. So we can avoid spawning him in for at least a little while with this weapon. But we are, of course, going to need ammo. Okay, I lied. That's obviously been fixed by mods or something. Because uh, here's one of them now. Now, I'm curious. If I swap weapon, do two of them spawn? Or was that just a, a, a first floor shenanigan? It seems to have been a first floor shenanigan that we had two of them. This, uh, this is beautiful. I'm liking the fact that we've got the freezing bullets as well, slowing enemies down. That's rather useful. There's the ammo we need. Up to 1,200 on this bad boy. Now, the shop is going to get closed if he gets anywhere near it, and I'd rather that not happen. Anything that isn't jammed gets just immediately destroyed. Right, we don't have keys. Let's not bother going in there yet either. I really should have gone in there to get the uh, teleporter, at least. That was a little bit foolish of me. Oh. We're going to need armor to make sure that we don't lose a full heart of damage when we get hit from the jammed enemies, which I'm sure will come fast and often. Can't barrel stuff with this thing. It's It weakens it. Beautiful. Oh my god, even jammed enemies are getting absolutely roasted and toasted. Oh! This this uh this chance to gain ammo back, by the way. This chance to gain ammo back. It seems maybe broken. It said 5% chance to gain ammo back on kill. I seem to just be getting ammo back on every kill. Like if you look at my ammo counter, it's just always at um maximum. So we may have found infinite ammo. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I, actually, I tell you what, I think I think I know what's happening. It gives you 5% of your ammo back. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Um chance to refund 5% of the gun's ammo back. 5% of the gun's ammo back. So every time that procs, we get What is that? Um we get 60 ammo. We get 60 ammo back every time that triggers. So that's that's why it feels infinite. Clone be doing clone things. Ooh, synergy chest. We don't have a key. This is going to be very much a race against time here, but I doubt I'm going to be able to get it. Nah, I've lost it. It's gone. Whatever that is as well, I'll have it. And then... Oh, there's no teleporter in that room. Okay, well, this... That that completely ruined my plans. Right, let's take a look at what, um... What those TNT barrel shells do. 
blastlets, a bullet type cat with a small gunpowder barrel that miraculously does not explode upon firing. Chance to afflict enemies with blast blight. Very, very nice. Blast blight is pretty interesting. Basically, it's like a delayed damage, delayed explosion. Yet another one from knife to a gunfight. So we're getting a pretty good showcase going on here, I'd say. A pretty good showcase indeed. But unfortunately, we don't get to open the chest we want. But we do get this, which is, with fractal, could get pretty wild. <laughs> Right, it's boss time. I mean, I still want to use this thing. This thing's just amazing. We've got first jammed boss here, to be expected. Jammed bosses don't actually have double HP. They only have 15% more or 20% more. So we don't have to worry too much about this. It's not infinitely more hard. Just keep firing and he'll die eventually. There you go, baby. There you go. Oh, there was a mimic in here as well, but that's gone too. We got zombie bullets. Invigorate. I'm going to guess that just increases the chance for, um, for its proc, which doesn't actually mean much to us. Let's go down. Okay. Wow, this run has been a little bit spicy. You never expect a clone run, but then one comes in out the blue and blows your mind. <laughs> Does something utterly beautiful. We love it. Right. Next floor up. I'm just sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little distracted. I'm trying to think about my monitor. I'm like, I, I probably should do some testing and try it on my girlfriend's PC and make sure it is actually broken. Otherwise, I'm switching monitor for no good reason. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I've got to deal with that when I come to it later on. Oh my god, this is just beautiful. The bullets with guns thing is... Uh, a very unexpected treat on top of this already crazy run. Get out of here, you. Thank you muchly. Unfortunately, we have had a real lack of keys on this run, though. That's, that's been our major flaw throughout the entire run. Keys have just not, not been coming to us as we'd like them to. We also have the curse where there's fire. The more uh, the more curse that you have, the larger chance you have um, of having a curse on said floor that you're on. As you can clearly see. Unfortunately, there is a small bug where fire can appear under the door as you walk in. You have to be very aware of that fact. Otherwise, you're going to take some stupid damage. As it just did there, look. It's pretty easy to avoid once you know about it. It's just first time round, you're not going to know about it. And it can cause you some bodily harm. Right. Is this another chest room that doesn't have uh, doesn't have a teleporter? What's what's going on with these chest rooms that don't have teleporters, people? I know modders do some weird things, but that ain't that ain't right. That ain't right. That isn't the way that Gungeon is meant to be. Oh my god. Okay, we're now onto health, so getting hit by jammed enemies is now a genuine concern. Ah, and then I immediately get hit by a jammed enemy. Love it. Wasn't even the right way. I mean, I think we do have some health lying around. The more your chaos increases, the larger chance you have of getting a rune drop. Well, no, nah, actually, that isn't true. It's lower chance of getting a rune drop, higher chance of that rune drop being ammo, if I remember correctly. Right, there's a chest. Where's our shop at? Oh, dude, this this fire damage. Just, it'd be nice if you just disabled the fire curse for now. At least until it doesn't do that. Because it is a little bit annoying to constantly have to keep it in mind. Okay. Let's try and take out the guy that's making this speedy Gonzalez here. I can't get him. 
Okay, Blast Blight got him. So now this this chest this chest room does have a teleport, so we'll discover it. But it does have a fuse again. Okay, with this much chaos, just every single chest has fuses, and we don't have keys, so we're losing out on a lot and a lot of potential loot here. And the shop is just nowhere to be seen. I've gone every which wrong way possible. How are you not dead yet, sir? There you go. We've got plenty of money to work with. I mean, the jammed enemies obviously drop quite a lot of cash. This is our boss fight. Wait, hold up. How come we can get into the shop straight away? Is that because of that? That's that's stupid. I've I've been I've been foolish. Interesting. Oh, for God's sake, man! Did you have to? Oh my flippity lip! What on earth? What on earth? Game. Chill. 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 That was a lot and a lot of jammed shots right there. A lot and a lot of gem shots. I kind of forgot that my gem boy will uh, close the shop as well here. Actually, that's a good point. Where the hell is all my mimics at? <laughs> Lock on uh, something or other. Lockhead. Okay, these keys of yours aren't, um, aren't they just free real estate? Even when unused... Um, they will now reveal their full potential. Each key improves your bullet speed range and spread by 25%. That would be an absolutely delightful item if we ever had keys. I mean, we have one at the moment, so that's decent at least. Oh, this thing has ammo now. Death, I'm gonna... Lord of the Jammed, I'm gonna ask you to please, please, please just not... I don't... I don't have the... the, the mind space to deal with you right now. Also you! You need to get out of here too. How are you not dead? There you go. Beautiful stuff. The carbine could be good. Right, down we go. We've managed to regain some of our HP here. Doesn't guarantee us a victory, though. I mean, any cursed run like this, no matter how powerful, is always at risk. I mean, we've got a lot of HP to work with, so we should be okay. Um, and obviously, we've got good weapons and stuff, but still, you never really know what's going to come your way. Oh, do you know what's really gross? On my second monitor, I've got my audio levels for my microphone on OBS so I can see if my mic's working and stuff. But, like, because my this monitor I'm using now is um is only 60 hertz, it's, like, really jittery. Oh, it looks jittery to me. It's just not smooth at all. It's it's weird to look at. It's, it's not normal. Right. Let's keep moving. Now, this thing's probably not going to be the best. Um... Hard to say what's going to be, like, our best bet here. Maybe just using this, like, throughout our rooms. Like, it's, it's a very, very good weapon. The fact that it has homing, I think, could make it very, very good. It does work with a fractal on occasion as well, so... Oh, what's, what's going on here? Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, there's a few of you lying in weights back here, I see. Ah, oh, bugger you. Why is this sniper not dying? I fired so many missile rockets at you, whatever you want to call them. Ah, oh, you... You petulant fool. Get out of here. Are we done? No, we're not done. God damn it. The beanbags. The accursed beanbags. This thing just kills too fast not to use. Got to stand at the right distance. I mean, also the fact that it has freezing on it too is, is pretty pretty lovely. 
These curses are really not not good for us, are they? Oh look, it's two chests. Ooh, I like this item a lot. Big iron on his hip. I mean, honestly, in for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, it's terrible as well. This is a gun that I like right now. I mean, it's a gun that I absolutely adore in the base game anyways, but this is doing some good stuff for us. Biatch, I would like... I would like you to give me keys. Again, though, the bullet speed is pretty fast. We want slower bullets. We need them to slow their goddamn roll. Last flight doing some interesting stuff there for us. I'll get out of here, you. I see your master. Ah, uh, ghosty boys. It's still, not, nothing quite beats the focus. I mean, it's the whole reason we're here. But nothing quite beats it. It just absolutely blathers a room in shots. In a way nothing else quite can compete with. You good? What's, what's, how are you alive, my good sir? Things are living through things they shouldn't be able to live through. Hello, shrine. Uh, excuse me, there you go. Oh my god. Okay, so each shrine has its own unique, unique payout, I see. It's not just like a random assortment of things. Each shrine has its own unique payout. We like that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So I can actually teleport into this chest room straight away. I know that's a mimic, I can see it. It's a jammed mimic as well. Ooh, that is a very, very good active for us right now. The ability to heal is uh, something to behold for us right now. We are very much on our way out of here now. We got them all? Yes, we did. Oh, bugger. The armor's helping out, but I am... I am wasting the potential. Caliber's eye unlocks, okay. A lot of things unlock up, getting unlocked through mods that I should already have unlocked, but I got a new PC and it didn't carry over because I'm stupid. I forgot to import my file. Right, back to this bad boy. Ooh, it's the wall. Wall's actually not too bad one for being jammed. I think he does have some slightly different attacks. Some bosses have different attacks when jammed, some don't. I think this guy is one of the ones that has slightly different attacks when he's jammed. But it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Okay, nice one. We got it. I'm on fire at the minute, though, so I need to roll straight away. There you go. We got table tech. Table tech life turns tables into things that we can see. Okay. Last floor. Let's go. Oh, my God. Am I going to do bullet hell? I don't know. D there doesn't seem to be too much of a point because we're going to steamroll the hell out of it. And I don't want this video to surpass an hour, so... Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see how long this floor takes us. We, we could end up getting lucky and it'd be a few, like, just a few minutes. We shall see. It depends also on if we get a, uh, a jammed dragon too, because that'll take a little bit longer if he's jammed. But I think at 16.5 curse, it's guaranteed. I, I believe it's 7 curse at which jammed bosses can start appearing. Um, but I don't know how the chances increase after the 7 curse. It might even be 6. Um, but I, I, I don't know, like, is it 
is it sort of like a 10% additional chance for every case after that until it's 100%? Or is it just like a flat, they can now be jammed at 50% chance, it doesn't go any higher than that? I'm really not entirely sure. I don't even know how I'm going to thumbnail this bad boy. Little bomber. Little bomber could be interesting with Fractal. If it procs. The good thing is, we pretty much have the win in the bag with the um, the little medic kit. Some people, like, th there's, there's like the orange, the mystery egg, the medical kit. Um, there's a few others in there too. That, in my opinion, if you're a half-decent player, it's an instant win. Even on a jammed run like this, it gives you four hearts. It's a lot. That is a lot. Oh, wait. Can I... Okay, I need to complete this room first, apparently. I think I can shortcut near to the end of the floor. Okay, that confused the hell out of me. This guy's grabbing all my bullets and I don't like it. Oh, God. I can't, I can't see what's going on. So, can I just go straight here? That I can. Bullet idols, not bad, considering the amount we're getting hit right now. And then our boss is right there, look. So we can kind of skip straight to the boss here. And after this, I think I'm going to do some monitor testing and then get some food because I'm pretty goddamn hungry. Pretty goddamn hungry. Let's go. We're going to finish it out with this bad boy. Because of course we are. But yeah, I wonder if there's any more uh, consumables like this ice cream item, where it just attaches onto your gun. I really like that idea. It's a really, really cool one. It's kind of like a sort of pseudo duct tape. It's kind of like duct tape, but more basic, and I, I really, really love the idea of that. I think that's something that can be pretty heavily explored, and, and you can get some pretty interesting results out of it. Being able to attach extra chances of certain things to happen to a gun, rather than it just being an item that gives all of your guns a higher chance to fire freezing shots. I absolutely whiffed that there, didn't I? I tried to blank to stop these uh, guns from appearing on the walls, but I missed my opportunity. Not that it really made much of a difference. But this boss isn't taking as much damage because the bullets aren't shooting as many bullets because he's so large that um, they're not having chance to be like split and shoot as much. Look at my little fella there. Look at him go. We do have two blanks to work with here, so we will try and utilize those for uh, getting past our little nightmare friend. I don't know if we're going to be able to one-shot this. Nah, not quite. Unfortunate, we've already used both our blanks as well, so we're at the whim of, uh, the, whim of the Lord of the Gems bullshit now. Yeah, there you go. He got me. He barrel stuffed me. It's okay, though. We still win. And I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a, a hell of a lot of fun. A very, very interesting run that kind of went places I wasn't expecting it to go. This, um... It started, it started off as something else entirely. Look at how much of the floor we did. <laughs> uh, it started off as something else entirely, really. And, um... It really grew into something pretty special and <laughs> quite an amazing showcase run here. But we are going to end off the run here. But yes, I hope you guys did thoroughly enjoy this. This was, like I said, a bit of a wild adventure. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. And it's time for us to shoot ourselves directly in the face. As Gungeoners, Gungeoners tend to do. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.